wine, it's a natural process by which uh, the grape itself uh, arrives when harvested with uh, the yeast that can ferment the sugar already on the grapes. And so all you do is break that grape and the yeast then ferment the sweet juice and you have wine. With experience, you must keep that um, going on its natural path and not let it deviate um, and, and lose its quality. As scientists, they felt you needed a corrective to high tech. Uh, you needed something very real, uh, what they would call low tech. Uh, and that it, it, you needed those two things in your life. And uh, wine for them provided that, making wine traditionally provided that uh, connection with uh, the earth, with the seasons, uh, with nature. That wine is one of the things that connects people to something real, um, it connects you to the earth. The Californians, of course, had learned many techniques from the Europeans, and I had had the opportunity to taste both these old uh, traditional California wines from the late 30s, as well as some of the great uh, European wines. And um, I had not seen any California wines as good as those earlier 1930s wines from California until I tasted uh, the 62 and the 64 made by the partners at Ridge. And they had made them in the simplest, most traditional way with no filtration, no processing, no additives, minimal uh, SO2 added, uh, but aside from that, nothing. Oh, and I had been offered a full partnership, oh, after I had been winemaker for three years, two years. And so that was oh, one reason I'm sure that I'm sitting here today, is that the original founding partners brought me in as an equal partner. And um, uh, as one of the two partners directing the, the operation. And um, they fully believed in what we were doing. 